Welcome back to The Pie Show with Jess and Amy. Today, we're talking with Tori Reed and Gabe Arnold about their best and worst advice they've ever received. Enjoy the show. Let's talk about um, what's the best business advice you've ever received? So far, the best business business advice I've ever received, and I think of pieces of advice the same way I do songs, right? Like I have a favorite song until I find my new favorite song. Um, and so my, my most recent piece of business advice that I really, really love is something Mark said, and he's not the only person who said this, but I like the way that he put it, um, that success is 80% mindset and 20% skills, and you can outsource the skills portion of it. And he said that to me at like the perfect time in my journey when, I, when I'm just like, okay, my skills are at max, um, but I still have, you know, a next level and a, and a level after that and a level after that that I want to get to. So like, what do I do now? I know everything that I need to know about marketing um, and about all of the other things that I'm doing and running a business. So like, what's my next thing? And it's mindset. It's like figuring out how to master your mindset, which Mark would actually disagree with the way that I'm wording that. But the way that I see it, like in order to conquer your life, you must first conquer yourself. Um, and that is as of late, the best piece of advice. And I wish that I had known and understood the depth of that a long time ago. That's awesome. <clears throat> it's just like loving your, you have to love yourself before you can love other people like mm -hmm. with your being. That's, that's cool. Thanks. I agree with that. I feel like my mindset, I didn't care about until this year. And it's like, I've grown leaps and bounds since yep. then. Like mm -hmm. just as a human and an entrepreneur and like a, like person with a set of skills and all that. So I like that. Now I just need to outsource. We were talking about this before we started recording. Now I just need to outsource, outsource the skills. skills. <laughs> what is the worst advice you've ever received? I don't even know. That's the thing I was thinking about it. I don't even know. Um, I don't know that there's a worst piece of advice I've ever received. I mean, okay, one piece of advice that I absolutely hate that I hear people giving, but I don't know that I ever like fully received it because I've never done it. Um, is fake it till you make it. I believe in authenticity, authenticity, uh, like 1200%. Um, but generally speaking, like all of the advice that I have personally been given and received in some sort of context, even if it was, even if it turned out to be like bad advice, I learned something from it. So I don't know that I've like hated any piece of advice that I've ever been given. You know what I mean? It was just something that I needed to learn. The best advice you've ever received what comes to mind right now i've received a lot of good advice but what comes to mind right now is <clears throat> the guy that i built the website for i um he told me he's like plan b is never enough he said you should always have plan c d and probably e and if you have all those plans in place and you, you'll be successful. He's like, most people don't even have a plan B though. That's true. I love that. Yeah. Love that. What's the worst advice you've ever been, you've ever received? How many can I say? <laughs> Maybe just a couple. <laughs> Maybe just a couple. Um, you need a business plan before you start up. Uh, that's I totally disagree with you, you can write down a few goals and get started there's nothing wrong with having goals but having a full plan a giant waste of time in my opinion um, you need a partner it's been very bad advice for me and those are the two that come to mind I don't know I've had a lot of people tell me a lot of stupid things but <laughs> that's okay. those are two good ones too Hey guys, thanks for watching episode nine, um, Tori and Gabe's best and worst advice. We can all learn a lot from it. Please stay tuned for next week's episode. Um, we have Katie Schweitzer and James Gaffney. We are going to be discussing parenting and entrepreneurship.